so I'm in Avebury. Behind me is the Red Lion pub and ahead of me down this path behind me is one way into the Avebury Stone Circle but already I'm in it because Avebury is built right in the middle of the Avebury Stone Circle. Let's go and have a look. Join me while I take a shortcut. Back there behind me is Avebury. I arrived around about one and took a quick look at the stone circle, which was truly impressive. It deserves a lot more time than I was able to give it. And now I'm walking along Green Street, aptly named, otherwise known as the Hair Path. And any of you who speak German, might make the association with the Bundesheer, because Heer, H-E-R-R, is the Anglo-Saxon word for army. And so this was a military road back in the day. So it makes sense that I'm tabbing up it, full kit, and up ahead of me, in that direction, running this way, is the Ridgeway proper. It starts down that direction, a little ways at a nondescript car park, which I have no desire to see. So I use the time to look at the stone circle instead. I'm already feeling the weight that I'm carrying and uh, already thinking about what I could get rid of uh, next time. And there uh, may well be a next time. So let's see how this goes. I'm hoping to get to Barbary Castle, which I think is about nine kilometers away, but that might prove a little unrealistic given the time. We'll see. Anyway, I've got five more, four and a half more hours of usable daylight. I better crack on and use them. Catch you later. to the Ridgeway. Here it is. Around behind me. And uh, it heads off in that direction up towards Albury Castle and then Ogden St George. So I'm now on the route proper. Uh, they say a journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. And uh, yesterday, my journey of 100 miles started with a train, uh, another train, a plane, a train, and a bus. Uh, but now I'm here, I'm going to make the most of it. Things can only get lighter and shorter as the days go on, so let's get cracking.
pretty sure that over there is Barbary Castle and the remains thereof. All these large fort settlements. Uh, we should be able to walk around the, the embankments, the, the earthworks there, everything else is gone. And uh, a bunch of trees that you maybe see over there, over there. Uh, that's probably where I'll camp for the night. It's still quite early, but I've been up since seven, so maybe a short hike day, but it's been a long day. I'll be back up yesterday. Let's see what's up there. In the end, I walked on from Barbary Castle to Smeath's Ridge. At the end of Smeath's Ridge, I dropped down in wild camp for the night. I'd head on past Hallam the next day, but that's for another video. See you on day two.